power weed whacker you got there. That's right. What are you going to do for us this afternoon, Bill? Well, I'm going uh, to show you, demonstrate a short field takeoff and a uh, uh, landing. And uh, with this wind, I should be able to get off at about 80 feet, something like that. That's magnificent. Well, let's give it a try, and we'll kind of walk people through it. This is going to be exciting, okay. folks. Uh, what I'll do is I'll take off up river here, and then I'll go downwind. By the time I go downwind, this thing like climbs like a homesick angel. So by the time I turn downwind, I'll be at my 1,000 foot, uh, 500 AGL. And then, uh, I'll turn down here, and I'll do a slip. And the reason for the slip is there's a dog leg in the strip. And if I, if I don't do the slip, if I don't uh, stay high, I can't see all the way around it. And if we have a kid or a dog run up on it, it's not a pretty sight. So uh, I try to be a little safer, and, and uh, I'll do a slip, and it, you'll see kind of what we do. Okay, well, and folks, watch for that. We'll kind of walk you through some of the flying that goes on here, very dramatic and very dynamic. Now, Bill's got to go over and fire up that airplane that's got a lot of uh, neat electronics in it. You've probably seen some bush pilots reach out and start that prop by hand. He's got the electric starter and the whole uh, business in there. So he'll be firing it up in a minute, and he's going to go down river just a little ways here. You see where the windsock is. He's going to head on down past that to that grassy area on that airplane. And if he's going very fast and this gravel hits it, it puts little dings in the prop, and it unbalances it, and it makes it real uncomfortable to fly, and it makes it real dangerous. So he makes sure that he takes off on the grassy portion. He's going to go well down into that, and when he takes off, after he turns around, if you're shooting video or if you're uh, even taking still pictures, like he said, with the wind this brisk, uh, 80 or 100 feet, maybe a little bit more, depending on conditions, and you want to be ready to snap that picture or keep on shooting. Once he's pointed toward us, he's pretty much ready to take off. If you are near a window or a railing, you might make sure that uh, you're not blocking anybody's view behind you. Okay, he's pointed down river, coming our direction. Notice where the gravel area starts. That is about where he will leave the ground. So it gives you something to target if you're shooting and you want to get him doing a steep climb. This is beautiful spring weather. Here he comes. Tail's already off the ground. He's rolling very nicely. About to reach the gravel. And there he goes. but as a part of our lifestyle. To give you an idea just how important it is to be a really heavy brush flying, you don't have a lot of time to do a long, gradual landing. And here, he wants to get out of the way of other airplanes that might be using the International Airport, which is running roughly, roughly uh, right angles to this one. Now here he comes. He's right over Discovery 1, our little vessel down there. You can see the wind's playing some tricks with him. He's got a good handle on it. And pulls back on the flaps, cuts the power, and touches down as smooth as silk. Now he wants to stay in that grass area while he's got some speed. He'll slow it down enough when he gets into the gravel that it won't hurt his prop right there, but he just wants to make sure he takes good care of that running gear and the, the propeller on that airplane. Now I'll do a little bit of a turn here for you. A pirouette and a wave. Thank you, Bill Johnson. Whoa, isn't that exciting?